So I'd say there's two things you can do to help manage the overwhelm. At least this is what I do and it works for me. The first thing is to teach yourself to be aware of how you're feeling. You need to be able to say to yourself, okay, I'm starting to feel overwhelmed. I need to redirect my brain to a different train of thought. Remember, we're not trying to never experience overwhelm again. We're just creating a plan for the next time this feeling starts to surface. The second thing to do is to learn and practice your trauma assessments. So once you've identified that feeling of overwhelm, you're going to think, right, stop that. What do I need to do first? And that's where you'll shift your thoughts over to this easy to remember C, A, B, C, D approach, which helps steer you away from panic and overwhelm and into appropriate action. So every time I catch my brain spiraling out of control, which for me can happen on the way to trauma jobs as well as when I'm there, I'll think, stop that. What's the first thing I need to do? C, A, B, C, D. So it's C. So for now, I'm just going to check and if needs be manage a catastrophic hemorrhage. That's my focus. Once that's sorted, I'll switch my focus to A. So is the airway patent? Do I need an adjunct? And do we have C-spine control? Once that's sorted, it's on to B because B is after A in the alphabet. And even when I'm panicking, my brain can still remember the alphabet. So do we have equal chest rise and fall? Are there any concerns relating to breathing problems that I need to act on? Okay, what's next? So C is after B and C stands for circulation. So do I need oxygen on? What's their pulse and BP? Do their pelvis and lung bones need splinting? Is the abdomen distended and firm or soft? And are TXA and fluids indicated? Once all that's sorted, D is after C and and D stands for disability. So are there any signs of traumatic brain injuries? What's their GCS? How are the pupils looking? And finally, E is for examine and expose, and hopefully we're en route to a trauma center at this point. So are there any other injuries, and can I help further with the pain? So step one would be to note that overwhelm that you're starting to experience, and step two, redirect your thought process to the C, A, B, C, D, E approach. Give this a try, let me know if it helps.